It's been a long time since Minis were actually Mini, but that doesn't stop the third generation of BMW's retro-styled hatchback being a great used buy, as we're about to find out in this Car Guru's used car review. The Mini can of course trace its roots back to the late 1950s and in 2001 was brilliantly reinvented by BMW. The third generation car we're reviewing today was launched in 2014. We'll spare you the full history lesson because what we really want to know is what one of these is like as a used buy. And on that front, the first thing to get your head around is how the range is structured. So it starts with a Mini 1, then it moves on to the Cooper, then it moves on to the Cooper S, which is a sportier offering. Those are the petrol engines. Anything with a diesel has a D after its name, so Cooper D, Cooper SD. On top of that, Mini offers loads of upgrades and options. Two of the most important are the Pepper Pack, which adds dual zone climate control, ambient lighting, a dual height boot floor and multifunction steering wheel, and the Chili Pack, which adds to that with sports seats and part leather trim, plus bigger wheels and different driving modes. The car we're testing today is a three-door Mini, obviously. But the third generation car also was available as a five door or as a convertible. As for what this three door Mini is like to access in the back, let's have a look. Oh, wish me luck. Once in, there's more room than you might expect. Albeit without a central seat belt, this is a strict four seater. If you do plan on regularly using these back seats, here's a small tip that could make your life a bit easier, which is that when you bring this seat back, don't just tip the backrest because that locks the seat in place. If you want it to go back to where you were sitting, you need to pull it back along the runners first and then fold it back and hey presto. As for what it's like to actually get out, oh, not too bad. Oh. Now, inside the Mini, this big circular pod here would have once held the Speedo, but actually that's now over here in front of you, and in the circular pod you get the radio or the infotainment system. Meanwhile, the low driving position, high vertical dashboard, and these toggle switches leave you in no doubt that you're in a modern Mini. Now, if you have a look around, you will find some sort of cheap, scratchy plastics in a few places, but overall, the effect is very much of a premium Super Mini. The full infotainment system is good using a BMW iDrive rotary controller rather than a touchscreen. Find a car with the Media Pack XL installed and you get a larger screen with SatNav too. It handles just like a Mini should, with keen darty steering and very little body lean through corners. Mini actually talks about it having a go-kart feel and although this is no more a go-kart than I am an underwear model, you can kind of see what it means. It's genuinely good fun. Even the entry level 1.2 litre engine provides decent performance, while the 1.5 petrol in the Cooper is easily brisk enough for most situations. The 2 litre Cooper S is quicker again, or for something with true hot hatch performance, go for a Tune John Cooper Works model, which come complete with sports exhaust that pop and bang as you blast along your favourite country road. If you do more miles, something with a diesel engine could make more sense. You'll get about 50 miles per gallon in normal driving from one of those, whereas the petrols in normal driving, you'll get more like 40 miles per gallon. One of the most surprising things about the third generation Mini is how much it's matured, both in its reasonably settled ride and the fact it even offers a decent boot. It's reliable too, with far fewer faults reported than with earlier BMW Minis. Although that said, it's still important to check that all the electrical items work, including the sunroof, if it's got one, and have a good feel around in the interior to make sure none of the trim has come loose. Finding a car that's still under its original Mini three-year warranty will also help to provide some peace of mind. When buying a new Mini, you can specify a TLC servicing package, which used to cover the first five years of servicing for a fixed cost. It can be transferred to new owners too, so it's well worth looking for on a used model. That TLC servicing package was reduced to three years at the beginning of 2017, but it does still include a clause that means Mini will fix any faults that cause the car to fail its first MOT free of charge. As far as servicing goes, the Mini's onboard computer will tell you when a trip to the garage is due, although for the sake of longevity, some owners still prefer to stick with the traditional interval of 12 months or 10,000 miles. You can start your search for a Mini at cargurus.co.uk, where we rank search results not merely according to what's cheapest, but by what represents the best deal when you factor in things like age, mileage, specification and dealer ratings. In doing so, you can get on with enjoying your Mini without wondering if you could have got a better deal elsewhere. 
Right, that's it for now. Don't forget to subscribe and we will see you next time, hopefully when the sun is shining.